Test 5. Listening. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. I went on holiday last week. Do you want to see this photo of our hotel? Yes, it's great. Did you have a good holiday? Yes, it was lots of fun. Can you see the girl looking at the map? The one who's got a green rucksack? Yes. Well, her name's Vicky. She was on holiday with her brother. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Who's that man there? The one who looks angry? The man in the blue jacket? Yes, he's pointing at the floor. Oh, he worked at the hotel. He's called Richard. He isn't happy with the boys because they're getting water all over the floor. Yes, I can see that. Who's the boy with the orange shorts? I'm not sure. But the other boy's called Peter. Can you see the green crocodile he's holding? I've got one like that. It's lots of fun to play with in the sea. I'm sure. Can you see the woman who's working behind the hotel desk? Which one? The one who's speaking on the phone? No, the other younger woman. Her name's Betty. She talked to us every morning. She was very friendly. And who's the man who's getting his keys? The man with the two suitcases. He's called William. Those are his two daughters. Their mum isn't in the picture. I think she was getting something from the car. Were his daughters nice? Yes. The younger one was very quiet, but I talked to the older girl a lot. Is the older girl the one who's holding the ball with the blue and white stripes? Yes. And she's got longer hair than her sister. Her name's Sarah. She was nice and very funny. It looks like the hotel was a good place to stay. Yes, it was. Mum and Dad say we can go back next year. Now listen to part one again. Who's that man there? The one who looks angry? The man in the blue jacket? Yes, he's pointing at the floor. Oh, he worked at the hotel. He's called Richard. He isn't happy with the boys because they're getting water all over the floor. Yes, I can see that. Who's the boy with the orange shorts? I'm not sure. But the other boy's called Peter. Can you see the green crocodile he's holding? I've got one like that. It's lots of fun to play with in the sea. I'm sure. Can you see the woman who's working behind the hotel desk? Which one? The one who's speaking on the phone? No, the other younger woman. Her name's Betty. She talked to us every morning. She was very friendly. And who's the man who's getting his keys? The man with the two suitcases. He's called William. Those are his two daughters. Their mum isn't in the picture. I think she was getting something from the car. Were his daughters nice? Yes. The younger one was very quiet. 
but I talk to the older girl a lot. Is the older girl the one who's holding the ball with the blue and white stripes? Yes, and she's got longer hair than her sister. Her name's Sarah. She was nice and very funny. It looks like the hotel was a good place to stay. Yes, it was. Mum and Dad say we can go back next year. That is the end of part one. Test five. Listening. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying your trip to our zoo. Now, I'd like to tell you about the oldest animal in the zoo. Does anyone know what animal it is? I do. I do. Okay. What do you think? I think I read it somewhere. Is it a camel? Yes. Very good. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Can I ask you some questions about the camel? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? How old is the camel? Well, they usually live for forty to fifty years, but our camel is fifty-five years old, so that's very old. Wow. What's the camel called? He's called Gobi. That's spelled G-O-B-I. That's a strange name. It's the name of the desert where he comes from. Oh, right. What does he like eating? He likes eating grass and drinking water. Can we see the camel? Where does he live in the zoo? He lives next to the giraffes. It's not far from here. He likes people and is very friendly. He lives with five other camels and one baby camel. When can we go and see him? Well, you're all going to have lunch now, but you can see him after lunch. Great! I can't wait. I want to take a photo. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Now, does anyone else have a question? Well, enjoy the rest of your visit. Now listen to part two again. Can I ask you some questions about the camel? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? How old is the camel? Well, they usually live for forty to fifty years, but our camel is fifty-five years old, so that's very old. Wow. What's the camel called? He's called Gobi. That's spelled G O B I. That's a strange name. It's the name of the desert where he comes from. Oh. Right. What does he like eating? He likes eating grass and drinking water. Can we see the camel? Where does he live in the zoo? He lives next to the giraffes. It's not far from here. He likes people and is very friendly. He lives with five other camels and one baby camel. When can we go and see him? Well, you're all going to have lunch now, but you can see him after lunch. Great! I can't wait. I want to take a photo. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Now, does anyone else have a question? Well, enjoy the rest of your visit. That is the end of part two. Test five. Listening. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Where are the things that Katie wants to take to school? Are you ready, Katie? It's eight o'clock. 
You're going to be late for school. OK, Mum. I haven't brushed my hair yet, and I can't find my brush anywhere. I want to take my brush to school. Oh, I remember. It's on the sofa in the living room. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Are you ready now? Not yet, Mum. I haven't got my maths book. I think it's on the telephone table. Oh, no. I remember now. I moved it when I phoned Grandma. I put it on the top shelf of the bookcase. Are you playing hockey after school today? Oh, yes. I need my shorts. I want the new white ones that we bought last weekend. They're over there, on top of the cupboard by the door, with the other clean clothes. I'll go and get them. OK, but do it quickly. Is there anything else you need? Yes. I need the letter you wrote for my teacher about the guitar lessons. I found it on the floor under my bed yesterday, but then I picked it up and put it in my rucksack. It's in the front pocket. Ah, yes, here it is. What are you doing now? I'm looking for my magazine, the one about horses. I've just remembered my friend Emma wants to read it. I know. It's still in the car. I was reading it when we came home from Grandma's house yesterday. OK, great. Are you ready? No. It's going to rain later today. I'm going to take my umbrella, but I don't know where it is. I'll go upstairs and look for it. Oh, look, there it is, next to the front door. Great. Let's get in the car before you remember anything else. Now listen to part three again. Are you ready now? Not yet, Mum. I haven't got my maths book. I think it's on the telephone table. Oh, no. I remember now. I moved it when I phoned Grandma. I put it on the top shelf of the bookcase. Are you playing hockey after school today? Oh, yes. I need my shorts. I want the new white ones that we bought last weekend. They're over there, on top of the cupboard by the door, with the other clean clothes. I'll go and get them. OK, but do it quickly. Is there anything else you need? Yes. I need the letter you wrote for my teacher about the guitar lessons. I found it on the floor under my bed yesterday, but then I picked it up and put it in my rucksack. It's in the front pocket. Ah, yes, here it is. What are you doing now? I'm looking for my magazine, the one about horses. I've just remembered my friend Emma wants to read it. I know, it's still in the car. I was reading it when we came home from Grandma's house yesterday. OK, great. Are you ready? No, it's going to rain later today. I'm going to take my umbrella, but I don't know where it is. I'll go upstairs and look for it. Oh, look, there it is, next to the front door. Great. Let's get in the car before you remember anything else. That is the end of part three. Test five. Listening. Part 4. 
Listen and look. There is one example. When is Helen's party going to be? Are you going to have a party for your birthday, Helen? Yes, Uncle David. It's going to be on Sunday. Isn't your birthday on Friday? Yes, but we're going to stay at Grandma's until Saturday. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where is Helen going to have her party? Are you going to have your party at your house? No, it's too small, so we're going to have it at the tennis club. The one opposite that nice restaurant. Yes, that's right. Two. How many people has Helen invited? Are you going to have a big party? Well, last year I invited thirty people, but that was too many. Oh, yes, that is a lot. So I've invited eighteen, but I think only fifteen can come. Three. What food is Helen going to have at her party? What food are you going to have at the party? I don't like cakes, so just sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> are you going to have pizzas? I thought you loved them. I do, but it's easier to just have cold food. Four. What is Helen going to wear at her party? Are you going to wear your red and white spotted dress at the party? I'm too big for that dress now. Oh, so have you got a new skirt to wear? No, I've got some new white jeans. Five. What present would Helen like for her birthday? What would you like for your birthday? I haven't bought your present yet. I don't know. What about some books or a dictionary for school? I've already got those, but I'd like a new diary. That's a good idea. I'll go shopping tomorrow. Now listen to part four again. One. Where is Helen going to have her party? Are you going to have your party at your house? No, it's too small, so we're going to have it at the tennis club. The one opposite that nice restaurant. Yes, that's right. Two. How many people has Helen invited? Are you going to have a big party? Well, last year I invited thirty people, but that was too many. Oh, yes, that is a lot. So I've invited eighteen, but I think only fifteen can come. Three. What food is Helen going to have at her party? What food are you going to have at the party? I don't like cakes. So just sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> are you going to have pizzas? I thought you loved them. I do, but it's easier to just have cold food. Four. What is Helen going to wear at her party? Are you going to wear your red and white spotted dress at the party? I'm too big for that dress now. Oh, so have you got a new skirt to wear? No, I've got some new white jeans. Five. What present would Helen like for her birthday? What would you like for your birthday? I haven't bought your present yet. I don't know. What about some books? Or a dictionary for school. I've already got those, but I'd like a new diary. That's a good idea. 
I'll go shopping tomorrow. That is the end of part four. Test five. Listening. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. This is a picture of a famous singer. Do you want to colour it? Yes, please. I'd love to. OK. Well, can you see the woman in the middle who's wearing one glove? Yes. That's the singer. Can you colour her glove green? Yes. Can you see the singer's green glove? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now, can you see the two men who are playing the guitar? Yes. The man on the left is wearing funny glasses. Shall I colour them? No. Can you colour his guitar? OK. Can I colour it blue? Yes, that's a good colour. There. I've done it. Two. Right. Now I'd like you to write something. OK. What shall I write? Can you see the photographer? Yes. He's taking a picture of the singer. Well, I'd like you to write news on his bag. OK. There. Three. Now, can you see the stars on the singer's jacket? Yes, there are two. That's right. Colour them pink. I'm doing that now. Four. Look at the man who's playing the drums. Can I colour his beard? Not yet. Can you colour one of the drums? Which one? There are three. The smallest drum. OK. What colour? Orange, please. Now, can you see the three girls in front of the stage? Yes, they look very excited. Yes. Can you see the tallest girl? Yes, she's got long hair. I'd like you to colour it purple. OK then. Now listen to part five again. One. Now, can you see the two men who are playing the guitar? Yes. The man on the left is wearing funny glasses. Shall I colour them? No. Can you colour his guitar? OK. Can I colour it blue? Yes, that's a good colour. There. I've done it. Two. Right. Now I'd like you to write something. OK. What shall I write? Can you see the photographer? Yes. He's taking a picture of the singer. Well, 
I'd like you to write news on his bag. OK. There. Three. Now, can you see the stars on the singer's jacket? Yes, there are two. That's right. Colour them pink. I'm doing that now. Four. Look at the man who's playing the drums. Can I colour his beard? Not yet. Can you colour one of the drums? Which one? There are three. The smallest drum. OK. What colour? Orange, please. Now, can you see the three girls in front of the stage? Yes, they look very excited. Yes. Can you see the tallest girl? Yes, she's got long hair. I'd like you to colour it purple. OK then. That is the end of part five, and Flyers, listening test five.